What's up guys? This abandoned structure is my pick for today's painting. I have done the sketch and without any further ado, let's start today's painting. This is a place near my home in Trishul, a lush green spot surrounded by the backwaters. And here is the location. Let's talk about the motif for this painting. I like the way light falls on the greenery. And the abstract quality of the building? Yes, there is a house-like structure underneath the creepers. It's really hard to find the building due to the overgrowth. Meanwhile, let me know in comments what's your motive to paint. As you can see, I have put dark strokes under the roof structure. What I meant by that is trying to find what's the darkest dark in my painting. Also added bright yellow green to the rooftop of the greenery. That is gonna be light striking area of the greenery on the roof. You can find I do make a lot of patch of colors here and there then focusing one entire portion at once. Basically I am making color notes for the entire painting. Because since we are out in the sun the way light falls will be changing drastically. All of you might have noticed by now that I like to paint greenery. That said as much as I do love to paint greens I am as afraid to work with green. Green is a complicated color to work with. It's a combination of blue and yellow. Where the light strikes directly green moves more towards yellow and where it recedes there the color tilts towards blue. Imagine seeing a mountain range. From a distance it looks bluish green, but the closer we get towards it, they look yellowish green. In this case, I will paint the green behind the roof as a bluish green and whatever in the bright region as yellowish green. The darkest dark region in this painting is the wall that under the tiled roof. This particular black is called chromatic black. This color is achieved by mixing three dark hues in my palette, ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson and viridian hue. The advantage of working with the chromatic black is that you can push the darks either towards blue, red or green. And since my subject has an abstract quality, I want to retain that in my painting too. You can find bright orange color over the slanting rooftop and in the light grey version to the sides. Whatever in light will get vibrant colors and whatever away from the light gets duller. As I was discussing about this location with my friend who lives close by, he said this hut used to be a toady shop. Google up if you don't know. If you are familiar with my channel, I love to paint greenery a lot. And because I am in Kerala and the northeast monsoon is slowly picking up apart from the pandemic, I can't travel too long to paint, but I am happy with the places around me to paint. That's the advantage of being a plein air painter. You don't have to travel an exotic place for painting. It's all about the way you look at the subject.
Behind the toddy shop there is a bridge. I am adding a bluish gray to it. Since it's noon, the sun is right on the top of my head, so I can show more bluish gray on shadows. Also the tree behind the toddy shop. I am adding more bluish green to show distance, whereas the foreground green is a yellowish green. That's it folks for this painting, until next one happy painting.